Hi, lovely people. This is Rich Bree. If today is your first time of watching me, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Like and comment because your comment keep me going. Our problem for the day is if cos x all exponent y is equal to sine y all exponent x, we should find dy over dx. So, how do we deal with this problem? To solve this, you need to find the lean of both sides. That's the natural log of both sides of this. So we can say, taking lean of both sides. Then we have lean cos x exponent y is equal to lean sine y exponent x. And remember, if we have log x exponent n base e, it will be equal to n log s base e. Then we can say this will be y lean cos x is equal to x lean sine y. Now, we differentiate this using implicit differentiation. Remember, this is product rule. We differentiate the y leaving the lean cos x plus. Now, we differentiate lean cos x leaving the y. So, we are going to go like that. So, now, I will keep lean cos x and differentiate y. So, I have lean cos x. If I differentiate the y, I'll get dy over dx. Then plus, now I'll keep my y and differentiate lean cos x. Remember how to differentiate logarithmic functions. You reciprocate the function here. That's 1 over cos x. Now you differentiate the cos and use it to multiply. When you differentiate cos, you get negative sine x. Then to be equal to, we apply the same rule here. So now I'll keep my x and differentiate lean sine y. So I'll get x. Then to differentiate lean sine y, you reciprocate 1 over sine y. Then you differentiate the sine y and use it to multiply. That will be cos y. Then plus. Now we are going to keep lean sine y differentiate x. When we differentiate x, it will be 1. So multiply by that will still be lean sine y. Now let's polish. We have lean cos x dy over dx. Then minus, because of the negative here, minus y. And we have sine x over cos x equal to x then we have cos y over sine y then remember we need to attach this to the since it is implicit differentiation so we have x cos y over sine y dy over dx plus lean sine y. Now, sine x over cos x, remember, will be tan x. Then cos y over sine y will be cot y. So we can say that lean cos x dy over dx minus y tan x will be equal to x cot y dy over dx plus lean sine y. So from here, we group like terms by bringing the, those with dy over dx attached to them to one side. So we have lean cos x dy over dx then minus x cot y 
divided by dx is equal to lean sine y then plus y tan x. So I'll factor out the derivative by dx. Then we have lean cos x minus x cot y dy over dx is equal to lean sine y plus y tan x. So now I will just divide both sides by lean cos x minus s tan y. Then our dy over dx will be equal to lean sine y plus y tan x all over lean cos x then minus s cot y. I hope you get that. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if this helped you. Like and comment. Until we meet again, this is Rich Brain.